We all thought the future of transportation would be flying cars. But in 2017, Elon Musk gave the world a different future to look forward to. One that would be just as efficient as flying cars, but could actually exist right now. Decided to make it real um, and, and dig a tunnel. The idea was pretty simple. Build out a tunnel system right underneath the city. Nice thing about tunnels is you can go 3D. So oh, you can go right. many levels. You can have a hundred levels of tunnel, but if you can go 3D on your transport system, then you can solve all traffic. And you can either go 3D up with a flying car, or you can go 3D down with tunnels. And just like that, the first tunnels were created in Las Vegas. The Vegas Loop was designed to move thousands of people quickly underground in autonomous Tesla vehicles, bypassing surface traffic. But that is the last thing we had heard about when it came to the boring company and them building tunnels underground. When we stumbled across one of these stations, we thought that's what we were about to experience. I think it's coming. It's coming. Oh my God, okay, we were six minutes, 30 seconds late. That's not the worst, but you know. <laughs> it was approximate, That's oh no. Oh, is he not? Yeah, I think so. No? He's looked at us. No. Bro, what? no way he just, Bro, we made direct eye contact. So how this works is you walk up to what essentially is a giant iPad surrounded by barricades and a small sign saying Riviera Station. Unlike a bus stop or train station, there's no cover. It's kind of just in the middle of nowhere. This video might turn into just us baking in the sun and then conclusion. Now, the giant iPad is where you're going to order your Tesla to pick you up. There's a small map showing showing you all of the places you can go, which is a whopping three different locations. Since we were at the Riviera station, our options were Resorts World and Westgate. The Encore and other convention center stations were all closed. Now, instead of having anybody to help you figure out how to actually buy a ticket, you have to scan a QR code, which takes you to a landing page where you can choose your destination and pay for the ticket. Well, it's not exactly simple, is it? Once you have done all of this, you press the giant silver button underneath the screen, then gives you a message saying that the Tesla will arrive to pick you up in the next four minutes, approximately. We want to go to Resorts World. For perspective, Resorts World is that building there. $14. Jesus. All right, wait, before you pay $14, this is what we're paying for. We're paying to go to that building, which will cost, which will cost us what, five minutes in time? Yeah. Versus $14. Let's see if it's worth it. It was uh, 3.40, we pressed that button and booked the ticket, so it's been four minutes. So it should well, arrive right here in... No, it should be here now. Should be here now. Yeah. But let's start, start a stopwatch for how late it is. All right, here we go. Can we also talk about how crazy this station is? Like, in the middle of nowhere, imagine a bus stop. Like, no shelter. Oh, oh. something's happening. Oh, we saw a green light. This popped up. Oh, it's supposed to be for uh, the Tesla that's not here to be allowed to go down. Now, the reason there's a green and red light is because this tunnel is actually traffic control, meaning the tunnel itself is single lane. So a Tesla car waiting to use the tunnel has to wait for any other car already inside the tunnel to reach its destination before it can go into the tunnel. Nah, dog, it is so hot. Oh, but then if you go that side, it's blasting They don't give music. you any uh, chairs. Ah. All right, how long has it been, bud? What is the check on. We are at 5 minutes 15 seconds. 5 minutes late. Yo, can they turn this music down? I think it's coming. Ah. It's coming. Oh my god, okay, we were 6 minutes 30 seconds late. That's not the worst, but you know. <laughs> it was approximate. That's oh pretty, no. Oh, is he not? Yeah, I think so. No? He's looked at us. Bro, Wait, no way he just... Bro, we made direct eye contact. Ain't no way. We had ticket. Valid. Car arriving where? Bro, I, and I clicked it multiple times. Yeah. This is crazy. I mean, what I will say is it's pretty clean. Like, no trash and stuff. You know, hypothetically, in a real world, we had some place to be and like what we're currently oh, doing. Oh, bro, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if we didn't have, like we were literally doing this for the video because we just wanted to see what's going on with the Vegas loop. But if we had to be somewhere, yeah. I'd be so angry. I'd just walk. But then you've already paid the money. Now, eight minutes and 30 seconds. And we've seen one Tesla who just drove past us. 
Yeah. I got so happy. I thought that was finally us, but no. Okay, it is now fully 14 minutes since we originally requested a ride and a Tesla has passed us. Hey, something's coming. Security coming through. Okay, good. We may have a ride. <laughs> Imagine we go with the security. Hello. Hi. How's it going? So we booked a ride like like 15 minutes ago and there was a car that went past, but we're still waiting. Open is to uh, Riviera uh, West uh, Resorts, Resorts World. World. Yeah, that's what we booked. Okay, let me see if they can send Thank you. Out. All right, so looks like we're uh, getting something in to call us the car. Stand by for a minute. Thank you. Kind of felt like he was like, oh, people actually use this? <laughs> All right, let's get a time update, bud. We are now. Oh, we're solidly past the 20 minute mark now. So they're just kind of hanging out, like he's just chilling there, waiting. I don't know if he's really here to help or just like monitor. Oh, let's is that go. Us? Is that for us? Thank you. First oh, honors. yeah, why not? Thank you very much. Oh, you have to duck. Hello. Let one of these in. Oh. your tickets? Yes. We have a round trip. So I don't know, is it, do they give you a ticket per person or is yes, it for the round person, trip? And then you use that same ticket coming back. Okay. All right. So that's the first one. I'll give that to you there. Headed to what location? Uh, Resorts World. Resorts World. Okay. Were you guys here for the convention yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Both days. Yeah, both days. Uh, it was. We were walking past here and we saw that uh, this was here and we totally forgot about it. So uh, we had to come check it out. Yeah, definitely. Has it been running for a while? This tunnel here they started using uh, about a year after they built the uh, Resorts World. So this started June of 21. So it's oh, really? Yeah. Whoa. As we finally entered the tunnel, which was filled with LED lights to give it some kind of, I don't know, party vibe, we thought we would have a really cool, interesting conversation with the driver, asking questions like, how long has he worked here? What's it like driving all day underneath the ground? But it turns out we wouldn't actually be able to ask any of those questions because this trip literally took one minute 40 seconds. That's right, we waited 10 times longer for the trip than the trip itself. The only slightly interesting thing that this driver told us was the fact that they applied to get permission to use autonomous vehicles in these tunnels but got denied, or at least it's still not a thing. They didn't approve using self-driving in the tunnels. Oh really? It seems pretty crazy because Teslas clearly do have self-driving capabilities on normal roads, which are far more complex complex than a single road in a tunnel with no traffic. Regardless, the trip was over and it was finally time to explore what the other side looked like, the location which we waited so long to get to. Awesome, thank you very much. Okay, so now we, um, from one failed project to another, we're in Resorts World. <laughs> I don't know Exit where we go through from. Gate. This way? Go this way. Just have a look and how empty it is down here. Look, all the benches. Oh, gotta go around there. So it looks like he might be the only one here. <laughs> like he's the only one operating it. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that trip lasted maybe 45 seconds. It seems like one of the major things is the fact that they still need people to drive this and operate mm. this, you know, if they didn't get their legislation approved. But to still be working on it and trying to get more tunnels? Yeah. Like, bro, are we giving this up? His pockets is deep. Well, here's the crazy part. This is like a match made in heaven because we've arrived at Resorts World, which last year they made 10 million in profit, but then that profit got fined by the gambling commission in Vegas. It's like their biggest ever. And like, they are one of the biggest failed projects that Vegas has, the most expensive uh, resort ever built in Vegas, and look how quiet it is. It's even more quiet than the goddamn loop. Yo, this is crazy. Oh my God. All right, so the result of the trip, that what you're getting are like, you just get to this empty place where there's just nothing. I mean, they have a Starbucks, but like, 
This is just incredible. It, it, I guess it is kind of like an attraction to see a place this expensive and empty is uh, insane. $4.2 billion dollars and it's only been open two years. Yeah, much. that's insane. All right, well, let's see how long the return trip takes. Oh, we're taking the elevators this time. They really went all out like this was about to be the next big thing, huh? Yeah, it does seem like it was planned to be huge and yeah. then just didn't take off rather than like it's building. Maybe because they, they centered it in a resort that didn't get any attention in the first place. Because what if they centered this in Fontainebleau, where people still go somewhat? Oh look, our ride is waiting for us. I literally think we are the only people, and that's why he's waiting. Because yeah, well, let's get back. No one else. Seeing the same driver still waiting there after dropping us off showed that we were the only people actually using the loop at this time. So we decided to hop back in and go to the only other available station, which takes you to the Westgate Resort. This ended up being a similar scenario of it being such a short trip, not being able to ask as many questions as we would have liked. What we were able to find out is that there are in fact new tunnels currently being made in Las Vegas. See this thing here on the left? Yeah. That's a tunnel that they broke through about three weeks ago. Oh. Where's that one going to? That one's going down south about 2.2 miles to uh, Virgin Hotel, which used to be the old Hard Rock Hotel. Oh. This is what they got going. Check it out. Yeah. Well, it looks like they got an Elvis car. And they got uh, a big sports book. All right, so we're gonna test and see, um, compare it with an Uber ride now. Yeah, because the main point of getting the Vegas Loop is for time-saving, convenience, that's the whole idea of it being underground. 16, so $10 Dollars. more. 16, and it's an 11 minute wait. All right, it was seven minutes. That is better. Let's that go. That is better. Hello, how's it going? Yeah. Thank you. Alright, uh, there, there we, we go. Alright, so that is, that is 6 minutes 45 seconds. That is a lot longer. Yes. That is a lot well, longer. Now it's not looking too bad, huh? That was longer and more expensive. But we didn't have a 20, 20 minute wait in the hot sun. Yes. Overall, the Vegas Loop experience was very far from what we had imagined in our heads. It feels like an unfinished or almost abandoned project. Now, they are clearly still working on it and maybe with its expansion, it could offer something of value, like maybe one day taking people to places they can't just walk to, like the airport. They even have plans of building other tunnels in places like Nashville and Dubai. But for right now, the Vegas loop seems more like a tourist amusement ride rather than a legitimate and useful mode of transportation.